This is a test. Test, test. One, two, this is, three. This is a test with the windsock on. Stop test. the madness. Start the adventure. Gonna try this. Got my wind muff on. Don't know if it'll make a difference or not. Is this windy? Tybee Island, Savannah, Georgia, Atlantic Ocean. No pets on the beach, they say. Well, Princess is not on the beach, and she's not a pet. I was gonna say she's not a pet. <laughs> so, as long as her feet aren't on the beach, I feel like it's okay some days here there you go category one all the way to category five that's how much the water rises in here as you can tell first level of the hotel is nothing empty so water can at least get to the second floor or flow through Tybee Island hey Daryl here we're at the Cobb Hunt Camp right outside of Lake City, Florida, right off I-10. We're walking around here. We're staying here for three or four days. Right now, there's no fee to, uh, to camp here, so we've been parking here. Uh, the uh, weather is nice. We were walking around, enjoying it, and we came across a couple schoolies here. Thought we'd give you a little show. Uh, the first one is we met these people. is where the nomads, where the wild nomads wander. And then we've got another bus over here that is, I can't quite read that one. What's that one? The Long Way Home? I don't know, I can't quite read one. Well, we're just walking around here, uh, filming, taking up some time, getting some B-roll, you know, getting some B-roll. Kim and I are out here walking Princess. Met the couple that have the green schoolie there. There's a bus down by us that I told them they need to go look at. It's an older model one. So anyway, that's what we're doing just out here cruising around. So this is, again, Cobb Hunt Camp. There's plenty of places to park. There's a loop here, and it comes out the other way over there. And we'll take you down there. But there's plenty of places to camp. This is a dirt road coming in here, but it's tightly packed, and it rained on it uh, one day and didn't have any issues with it. A lot of hunters are in here um, today or this weekend, and uh, but they've been very quiet. It's very yeah. they've been very respectful of everybody. So. Yep. So uh, I'm gonna walk down through here and uh, show you around. Again, you can you can get a class A in here if you want. We could have brought Maddie down here. There's plenty of big spaces that you can back in and park at. So let's go down here and check it out. You can see they do have trash bins here. They also have uh, portalettes here this time of year. They may not have them throughout the year, but they have them here, I guess, because of hunting season. But there's a nice little pond right here. You just got to be careful where you drive in here because uh, there are some low branches here and there. So when you get in here, you know, pull over, check it out, walk it out. It's only like maybe a quarter mile around here on this loop here. But as you can see, there's a bunch of people camping in tents. There's people camping in their cars. But during the summer, it's $10 a day or 50% off with your America the Beautiful Pass. But between November and February, it's free for up to 30 days. They do have pit stop. This is what they call their portable restrooms. Pit stop. There's three or four of these around here. Very nice to have. Groups of people camping. There's our rig up there. Tucked away, getting some solar. We're at 13.8 currently.
and that is the float on our batteries. Let's go check this white bus out up here. All right, take a look at that. I don't know what year it is, but uh, there's somebody that's put a little time, got them a nice little bus. Is that a fireplace? Is that one of those? That is a fireplace thing? in there. I don't know what they got up on top, if that's an Omni television or if that's a uh, some type of booster. cell booster maybe. They got some solar up on top. Looks like they got it going on. Diesel in the back. Nice. Looks like they can pull a trailer with it. Very nice. And you can see they have bear boxes here. There are bears in this area. I was within 30 days. And 14 day camp in stay living. But it does have something about in between. Except the during general gun season, which is now. Somebody even left their little coffee mug there. Okay.